Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi everyone. Welcome to Zebra's World. Okay. Hi everyone. This YouTube video is to introduce Ooh. you to my new Dopamine. Her name is Ziva Star because she is a star. Fake mommy, fake mommy, you're a star. You're a star. I'm making this video a little bit late. I got Ziva three weeks ago now. It is like having an actual child. She loves zippers. everyone okay let's try this again so i got a doberman almost three weeks ago i got her from a breeder in new jersey i will link his information in the description below in case that you're interested in finding out more about the breeder if you're interested in getting a doberman or he also breeds german shepherds but whatever okay so i got her three weeks ago her name is ziva c-i-v-a so beautiful and the meaning of Ziva is brilliance, light of God. And I just love the name Ziva. I just, I'm just so happy I named her Ziva. <laughs> um, and she is an amazing dog. Okay, so I'm gonna share a little bit of my experience picking her up and taking her home. That's the day of, in my head, I plan to make a video that was 24 hours with getting a puppy, but it's just been like so much stuff. <laughs> But so I'll explain a little bit about the process picking her up and then also like my first week with her and then how I'm doing today with her. I picked her up February 25th and when I went to go pick her up, I had second pick. So there was one person who was picking a dog before me, another black female Doberman. And I was so happy that the guy before me picked the dog that I didn't want. So I was so thankful for that. Ziva, when she was, um, you know, sitting out in the little cage thing, like waiting to get picked, she was sitting pretty quiet. She was shy and very whiny and she peed and pooped all over the floor a couple times. And, but she was the biggest dog out of all of them. Like she had the bigger paws and she was just taller. Those two other dogs that were in the show room and that were from the same litter as her so there, there were her sisters and she was the biggest out of those um and even like looking at all the dogs on the litter she had the bigger paws so i was just happy that i got the one that i wanted um and so picking her up the process was really smooth the breeder is he has a lot of reviews and he's well known and he's very thorough he's very helpful i reached out to, to him a couple times since i got her and i even went back um and i'll talk about that later but i even went back for him to for further help um and yeah so i picked her up signed the papers and i brought her home on the drive home it's about an hour and 20 minutes away she was she was a little whiny in the car but she was still like a sweet little angel throughout the ride she ended up falling asleep and being a good girl and then when we came to my apartment she was just you know, like not really knowing what was going on, quiet, um, like kind of just sniffing around and seeing what was up, what was up. But my first day with her was just so cute. I was just so excited to finally be a dog mom. I'll explain some of the hard times that I've had with Ziva. So the hardest thing that I've had with her is her diarrhea. She started getting diarrhea and I reached out to the breeder and he had explained to me that it was because I was overfeeding, I was feeding her too much. I was giving her closer to a half a, closer to a full cup versus a half a cup that she should be eating three times a day. So I was overfeeding her, which is causing diarrhea. But that was a quick fix by um, giving her a spoonful of pumpkin and noodles and chicken once a day. 
and that like hardened up her poop and it helped with the diarrhea and it also like started giving her less so we have it like here and there her poop will be a little bit runny but for the most part it's been like more firm now but other than that almost three weeks and really no issues it's been a really great experience i've just been feeding her the same food up until like the past couple days when i gave her a pumpkin and chicken and noodles or rice to fix that issue another thing i wanted to bring up was she got her ears cropped so currently like she has the tape on top of her ears because when i first got her she had just recently got surgery like maybe the week before and so you could she still had the stitches in her ears and it was still like red and um not healed yet and so that's because so now her ears will stick up rather than like her natural ears that are floppy and there's different reasons as to why that um breeders crop their ears and if you want more information on that i can make another video so comment below if you want more information on using behind cropped ears for dobermans after getting her like a week later i had to take the stitches out of her ears and it actually was a little hard <laughs> um me as a mom i was just nervous to do it myself thinking that i was gonna cut her or hurt her but my dad helped me and we were able to get out majority of the stitches but there were there was one side where the stitches were like really deep in there because it started to heal and so i ended up taking her back to the breeder so he could do it and like he's been doing this for so many years that he just did it it was like a little struggle for him, but like he was able to get him out. So I was appreciative of his availability and being able to help me with that. And he's also going to help me post the ears when I go back in the next week to get her second vaccination because he also gives her the vaccinations. He's a really good breeder. So pretty much just keeping up with making sure she's pooping regularly and also keeping up with making sure her ears are you know healing properly other than that she's been a great dog so i'm gonna explain like a little bit about the setup that i have here so the way that i set up her room is pretty much so she can have the room to herself um i have her crate set up and i have a little um like a little playpen for her and then also a little cot that I got from my dad that I'm just giving to her because she can have it. Um, and I pretty much just let her roam around the room when and how she wants to. Whether she wants to sleep in her crate, she can sleep in her crate. If she wants to sleep on this bed, she can sleep on this bed. I don't know if this will um, bite me in the butt later on when she's able to open up the doors, but right now it's fine because she can't get out of the room without me or someone else opening up the door for her. And it's really been no issues with that. The only issue I would say is like she'll poop on the carpet. But even when she's not in her room, she, she sometimes poops on the carpet. She's getting way better. Um, but like, you know, it accidents are gonna happen with a puppy, but so sometimes she'll just poop on the carpet. But it's like if I had her locked up in a crate, She's probably just gonna poop in the crate, no different, rather than a puppy pads. And at night, it actually has been a really good experience so far. Like, she's not very whiny at night. She'll poop on her puppy pads that I have for her. Um, and it's like pretty good throughout the night. Um, I'm trying to wake up like one time in the middle of the night just to get her used to going outside and using the bathroom rather than pooping on the puppy pads or like on the floor which is not the best waking up in the middle of the night but it'll be worth it but overall like just her not being loud or barking at people at the door or at the windows it's actually really good like she's a really 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 good dog she's quiet she is um she's feisty with people that she knows but if she sees somebody outside just walking by she's quiet she'll just watch them walk 
she won't necessarily bark at them she might jump on them but that's about it um it is mostly only if the person oh my god it's late i'm sorry y'all like i kept telling myself i gotta make this way i gotta make this way I, I keep still like <laughs> but okay so mostly she'll just jump on them if they approach her and like they try to pet her but other than that sometimes if i'm holding her and other people approach me to pet her she's a little scary cat she's like shaking i'm like in my head maybe i should take her away from this situation because i don't want her to shake herself to death like <laughs> but hopefully she goes out of that but hopefully she goes out of that one other thing i wanted to talk about my first couple week experiences with my dog is training her so i've been doing a lot of research and videos um before getting ziva just so that I could feel confident training her without feeling like I have to pay someone to train her or to train us together. And it's actually very helpful and very easy to train these dogs. So I don't think it's necessary if you're able to be consistent with it. I don't think it's necessary to go out your way to spend money to get a trainer because it's only been a few weeks and she's already learned like four or so commands. So. She knows how to sit, she knows how to lay down, she knows how to bark, which I use the command guard, so it's like a little bit more intimidating. So when I say guard, she barks. She's starting to learn how to jump, shake, like, you know, put her paw in her hand, and I think there's another one, but I don't think so. And so another thing I train her to do is when I'm outside walking her, I train her to sit at the door and wait for me to walk through the door. And then she comes. She's good at it, except for like if it's really bad weather or it's cold outside, she's like rushing to get back inside. So sometimes she's not the best at sitting still and waiting for me to go first. Like she's like rushing in the door. But for the most part, like, She's training very well and she's doing very good and I'm really proud of her and excited just to have like such an amazing dog. I definitely feel like I got the best dog out of the litter. She is such an angel. Not really. Okay, so the only other thing. The only other thing that Ziva is struggling with right now, which I completely understand, is teething. She is teething like crazy. She wants to bite on everything. Thank God, I have so many toys for her. So they're helpful, but then also like, she'll decide to chew on my shoes or chew on my slippers or chew on a blanket or try to chew on the furniture. The teething, it's, it's like, all right, you can't be eating on my hands now, Ziva. <laughs> but, but overall, like an amazing dog. And I just feel so thankful and blessed to have her. Speaking of the diva, here she is. She made her way back in. Say, I just opened up the door myself. Just push that door open. Did you just push that door open? The crazy baby. Just crazy baby. So one thing I didn't know was how small she was gonna be. When I got the collars, I thought. She was gonna be, I don't know what I was thinking, I didn't know. But so the collar size I originally got was a medium, but this girl is a size small in collars. So if you do get a Doberman puppy, get a collar that is a small size and not a medium size because they're just so small. Right, Ziva? Ew! Mommy don't play that. You want the spotlight? Somebody wants attention. She doesn't like the camera stand. I am definitely going to do better at uploading videos of Ziva regularly so that you can 
experience her growing up with me and I can just document everything because I'm gonna miss how small she is. She's gonna get so big. Oh here, let me show you her ears. Ziva, show the people your ears. Let's show them. So when I first got her, she had stitches all along the top of her ears and down here. And now they're healing so nicely. They look so good. Right, Ziva? <laughs> and then she also had her tail dots. Come here. She's like, what are you doing to me? Leave me alone. She also had a little tail dot <laughs> that also had stitches I had to take out. But it's also healed as well, too. <laughs> the little thing. She's such a baby. <laughs> You're such a baby. Yeah, I feel like I shared a lot of information about my experience so far with Ziva. Um, I haven't gone on long walks with her. I only take her right outside of my apartment because she's not vaccinated yet. Right, Z? You're not vaccinated yet, so we can't go too far. I don't want her getting sick. But I'm definitely going to have to vlog our first walk. And she's also going to have a welcome home party. And we're gonna go to a whole bunch of parks and just meet a whole bunch of different doggies. But yes, say hi, Siva. Say bye, Siva. Those paws. Say bye. Thank you for watching. And be good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <coughs> Are you ready? Sit. Lay down. Sit. Lay down. No? Okay. You're going to do it for um, toys. Okay. Oh, there you go, baby. Good job.